There is no joy in Mudville, Mighty Casey has struck out. This heartbreaking ending to the nostalgic poem, Casey at the Bat, inspired the positioning line for the marketing strategy that has made the Toledo Mud Hens one of the nation's elite minor league baseball clubs. They turned the sadness of Casey at the Bat on its head and made it into something positive. With a slight twist on the original theme, the Mud Hens found a way to restore the joy to Mudville at Fifth Third Field for baseball fans in the Toledo area. The Joy of Mudville in Toledo's Family Fun Park brands the experience all fans can count on when they attend a baseball game at the new Fifth Third Field in Toledo, Ohio. Not only do they look forward to a good baseball game and a championship home team, not only do they look forward to seeing potentially famous young baseball players develop into major leaguers, fans also look forward to a fun, multifaceted, entertaining, affordable family or group outing. The promotion and delivery of this mix of good baseball and family fun has catapulted the Toledo Mud Hens into the position of being one of the elite minor league sports franchises in the country. Not only have they won the league championship two years in a row, the Mud Hens have set a team attendance record, become the league leader in ticket sales revenue, food and beverage sales, merchandise sales, and corporate sales. What's their formula? I think what surprises most people is the fact that we're really a sales, marketing, community relations organization as opposed to a player development organization. Uh, the Detroit Tigers actually develop all the player personnel for the Toledo Mud Hens, and we're strictly focused on sales and marketing. The uh, success of the Tigers uh, this year was um, uh, very pleasant for the Toledo Mud Hens and Toledo fans. There were, I think, approximately 15 former Toledo Mud Hens on that Major League roster. The Mud Hens revenue streams include ticket sales, food and beverage sales, merchandise sales, and corporate advertising sales. At this point, their ticket sales total 40% of the gross revenue. Food and beverage sales total 35% of the gross revenue. Merchandise sales comprise about 10% and corporate advertising sales comprise about 15% of their total sales. The Mud Hens marketing research revealed that fans that attend minor league baseball games are looking for a somewhat different experience than fans that attend major league baseball games. Major league baseball fans place much more value on seeing star baseball players and winning teams. Attendance often fluctuates with which star ball players are in town and with whether the team's record is in contention for the playoffs or the World Series. We've been affiliated with the Tigers as their AAA affiliate since 1987. They provide the players, they have all the say with the player moves, the, the coaching staff, the, the trainers, the coaches, the salaries, the equipment. Obviously we like to put a good product on the field uh, as far as uh, the players and baseball go, but that's really secondary. Our product is affordable family entertainment. Uh, we're basically uh, providing somebody an opportunity instead of going to the movies or, or going ice skating that they can come and have an uh, affordable night, bring the whole family, uh, go on a date, whatever, uh, bring the grandparents and grandchildren, whatever they want to do, they're going to have a good time and they're going to get their money's worth, whether it's uh, eight bucks for a ticket and then some food. It's an, a great opportunity for us to provide entertainment baseball is just a, uh, really only a part of of what we're trying to present the success of the mud hens attests to the wisdom of their marketing mix between baseball family entertainment and first class food and beverage service this draws fans to the ballpark in record numbers and creates the opportunity for merchandise sales corporate advertising sales and repeat pre-sold ticket sales the 28 corporate suites are sold out by multi-year agreements one-third of the overall season's tickets sold are for season ticket holders, mini plans, and suite sales. One-third of the tickets sold are through group sales, and one-third of the tickets are sold on an individual basis. Two-thirds of the tickets are pre-sold between a week to six months before the games. We've been at Fifth Third Field since uh, 2002 when the stadium opened. Um, Previously, we were drawing in the, in the areas of about 300,000 people a year. Ever since we've moved downtown here, we've been averaging about 550,000 people a year, which is uh, a significant increase from what we've ever done. We've got two slogans that we use interchangeably. One is the Toledo's Family Fun Park, and the other is Experience the Joy of Mudville. And again, both are, are just on the experience of having a, a good time. We have a store that's 3,000 square feet, the Swamp Shop, 
that uh, when we were building the ballpark, the architects kept wanting it to be a certain size and we kept saying bigger, bigger, bigger. And the truth is that 80% of our merchandise sales are on the day of the game in the ballpark. So uh, knowing that, uh, you, you want to make sure you have a big enough store that can uh, hold that capacity of your customers. One of my jobs here at the Mudhens is to utilize the media uh, as an outlet basically for free marketing of the team. Uh, we have you know, a tremendous relationship with the local media, the Toledo Blade newspaper and our TV stations and, and, and maybe lesser of a degree but our radio stations as well and I utilize those uh, those outlets to help promote the team. If you look at newspapers in other markets they may have a, a paragraph on page five of the sports whereas we have pretty much a, a game story every single game 144 games, uh, and a lot of the times uh, we're on the front page, uh, which is fantastic. There's no question in our minds that the direction or the needle is moving more towards the direct marketing and less and less towards what you would say the traditional marketing, which is your radio, your television, uh, your newspaper. Um, all those options, which are very expensive, incidentally, uh, only really focus towards that person that's deciding at the, at the last minute or maybe a couple days before the game that they want to attend that game. The direct marketing is, uh, is the effort towards the people who are buying those, uh, those group outings months in advance. Uh, they're buying the suite rental outings, they're buying their season tickets, their mini plans. Some of the marketing tools that we use begins with the pocket schedule, our season ticket brochure, individual ticket information. People react to different types of information, so um, we communicate in so many different ways. As manager of promotions, my activities include on an average game day, uh, pretty much everything in between innings, anything entertainment, pre-game and post-game. That includes um, dancing on the field by the contest crew or a band maybe after fireworks, anything like that. Our mascots are a very big part of what we do. They are pretty much our premier players, so to speak. A lot of times in minor league, you don't really know who the players are because they change so rapidly. However, Maria Madonna, our mascots are always here. Come on, come on. Go. All of our market research indicates that uh, people come out to minor league baseball games because they want to enjoy the social atmosphere, meaning running into friends and neighbors and family members at the ballpark. And in many respects, ballparks, especially minor league ballparks, have become the main street of America. And what will happen is on any given weekend, there might be 10 to 12,000 people at Fifth Third Field uh, getting to know one another and enjoying the fact that it's really more of a social atmosphere than a sporting event.